In the sleepy town of Ravenwood, nestled deep within the misty woods, stood an old Victorian mansion, its imposing presence casting shadows over the surrounding landscape. The locals whispered of its dark history, of tragic deaths and mysterious disappearances that plagued its halls for generations. Yet, despite the warnings, the house remained uninhabited, its secrets locked away in the attic. As the autumn leaves began to fall, a group of adventurous teenagers, drawn by curiosity and a dare, decided to explore the abandoned mansion. Among them was Alex, a skeptic with a penchant for unraveling mysteries, and his friends Sarah, Jack, and Emily. The air was thick with anticipation as they crossed the threshold into the decrepit foyer. Cobwebs clung to the walls, and the floorboards creaked beneath their feet. Ignoring the ominous atmosphere, they pressed on, determined to uncover the truth behind the house's grim reputation. Their journey led them to the attic, a forgotten realm shrouded in darkness. As they ascended the narrow staircase, a chill ran down their spines, and a sense of unease settled upon them. It was as though the very walls of the mansion were alive, whispering tales of horror and despair. Upon reaching the attic, they were greeted by a sight that sent shivers down their spines. Dust-covered furniture lay scattered about, and eerie shadows danced across the walls. But it was the portrait hanging in the corner that caught their attention, a haunting depiction of a woman with hollow eyes and a twisted smile. As they inspected the room, a piercing scream echoed through the attic, freezing them in their tracks. Panic gripped their hearts as they searched for the source of the sound, but there was nothing to be found. It was as though the very walls themselves were screaming in agony. Unable to bear the terror any longer, they made a hasty retreat, fleeing the mansion and vowing never to return. But the horrors they had witnessed would haunt them long after they had left Ravenwood behind. Months passed, and life in the small town returned to normalcy. Yet the memory of the scream in the attic lingered in the minds of the teenagers, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurked within the old mansion. Then, one fateful night, a storm descended upon Ravenwood, unleashing its fury upon the unsuspecting town. Lightning flashed and thunder roared as Alex, Sarah, Jack and Emily sought refuge from the tempest in an abandoned barn on the outskirts of town. As they huddled together for warmth, recounting their past adventures, a sense of dread washed over them. It was then that Alex remembered something he had overlooked, the portrait in the attic. Driven by curiosity and a desire for closure, they set out into the storm, determined to uncover the truth once and for all. With each step they took, the wind howled and the rain lashed against their skin, but they pressed on, guided by an unseen force. Finally, they reached the mansion, its dark silhouette looming ominously against the stormy sky. Without hesitation, they made their way to the attic, their hearts pounding in their chests. But as they entered the room, they were met with a sight that chilled them to the bone. The portrait was gone, replaced by an empty frame staring back at them with vacant eyes. Confusion turned to fear as they realized the truth. The scream in the attic had been a warning, a desperate plea from the restless spirits trapped within the mansion's walls. And now, they were doomed to share the same fate. As the storm raged on outside, the teenagers felt a presence closing in around them, a darkness that threatened to consume their very souls. With nowhere left to run, they screamed into the night, their voices drowned out by the howling wind. And as the first light of dawn broke through the clouds, the old mansion stood silent once more, its secrets buried deep within its walls for eternity. 